Hello and welcome to Microsoft Power Tools channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on the public preview as well as the developer preview in Microsoft Teams. Right now, I have my account and I'm going to use this ellipse button to go navigate to about. And when I get to about, I should be able to toggle between developer preview or public preview so that I can benefit of the early feature releases from Microsoft Teams and I'll be able to consume them and while they are also generally available, I can also as well consume them. But right now, I don't have the options. So how do I turn them on? Right? So let's go to the browser and log in to your account. You won't be an admin before you can set this up. So you can reach out to your admin to either enable it for everyone in the organization or for specific people in case you want them to be able to test out new features as soon as they are made available by Microsoft Teams. All right, right here, I'm just going to navigate to admin. And from the Microsoft Leases for Admin Center, I'm going to show all and locate Teams. This is going to open up the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. All you have to do is navigate to Teams and look for Teams policy, but just go to update policies. When you go to update policies, you're going to see custom policy, public preview, I mean preview features is off. So this is for everyone across the organization. And I'm going to click on it. You see, I can switch the public preview on and off here. I can turn it on. But when I turn it on, there is applicable to everyone across the organization. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click on cancel. I'm going to discard. What I'd rather do is to add the policy and call this pub, um, public releases, public preview. Yeah. Public preview and make sure I turn on the public preview and apply. Right now, for public preview, I can click on it and manage user by assigning who should have access to this. I'm just going to assign someone, Ola Charles. So Ola Charles, I'm going to add Ola Charles and click on apply. Right now, that's in my account. I'm going to sign out of Microsoft Teams so that I can take effect and sign back in. And we will see now that I have the public preview. I have restarted my Teams. I'm going to navigate back to the three dot ellipse and check my about do you see now that public preview is now available i'm going to click on it so that it is switch is a switch so now that i've clicked on it remember most of the features they are not stable yet that is why they are not generally available yet but so you, you should accept to the terms and condition and that's what i'm trying to you know say with this i'm going to switch to public preview all right now let's go back and check again great do you see two things here public preview has been switched on and developer preview has been switched on what this means is all the little little changes and features that microsoft are releasing in microsoft teams you'll be able to have access to them as soon as they're released and you can test them out you know and sort of enjoy those features all right Thank you. I hope this video helps. Don't forget to like and also share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye for now.